throw my mic down. I'm gonna try to jump Lake Arnell. Do you think I can jump Lake Arnell? No, no. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do no. it. Just a small town girl. Woo! Geeky Classic Rock. Okay, I am so excited. Hi, my name is Kiki. I like music. Please hit the subscribe button down below and drop it like it's hot. Okay, d d just, just hit it. I knew it. I just knew it deep down inside of my big ginormous soul that Dean Castronovo would officially be a part of Journey and he is. Neil Sean said so. And Dean and Narda were both drumming away at Lollapalooza this past weekend. Here's the thing. There's always a thing. There's there's gotta be a thing. Neil has not exactly said how many shows exactly that Dean will be a part of going forward, but he's an official member of Journey, so I would assume that he would be a part of all of them. Yeah! All right, we gotta think about this for just a second, okay? So Dean is also currently part of a band called Generation Radio, and I love it because the name Radio is in the band name, so why why wouldn't you love that? The band includes Chris Rodriguez and Tom Yatkin, Jason Chef of Chicago, Jay DeMarcus of Rascal Flats, and of course, Mr. C, DC. Oh, he could be Washington. Dean Castronovo, yes, he is also a part of Generation Radio. I kinda like that. D see. He's a capital now. Dean has a bunch of dates that he's already done and is supposed to be doing with Generation Radio. Journey is busy right through August. Then in September, they're doing a show in Vegas. And then again, they're doing another show in Vegas in December. Now in September, Dean, otherwise now known as DC, is scheduled to be near me, myself, and I in Connecticut in September. So realistically, the Connecticut gig would come first with Generation Radio, then he has plenty of time. Well, not really plenty, but he has several days, few days to do the Vegas show with Journey. So he could, he could really do both. I just don't know if he will, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Karen, she actually runs Team Dino over on Facebook. I will put the link down below. And if you are a big Dean Castronovo fan, DC fan, go over to that page. It's a whole bunch of fun and you'll meet a whole bunch of cool new friends and they just talk about Dean Castronovo and Journey. It's good. It's all goodness. I promise you'll like it. It's fun. Do not think I missed my lipstick and went down. It's a zit. Okay? It is what it is. Adult acne is a thing. And then you go and pop it and make it worse. It's 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 just a vicious circle. You make a mess. All of Dean's fans, I mean there have been I don't I don't even know how many comments on every single social media platform. Everybody has been so excited for Dean to join Journey and when the announcement came out, just forget about it. It's just pure happiness for him, which is so, so nice to see. Everybody coming together and saying, woohoo, you go DC, it's all good, baby boy, you're gonna do awesome. And he did awesome. I hope all of you got to watch Lollapalooza on Hulu. All right, well, you know, all right, we're here to talk about Dean, but we gotta talk about Lollapalooza for just a minute, just a moment before Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza even happened. Dean, you know, came out with the announcement. Team Dino made the announcement that he was officially going to be playing the festival. Then Neil said, yes, Dean is now officially a part of Journey. So then Dean was putting out these really cool pics on Instagram and Twitter of him at rehearsal. And then they did the show on Thursday night at the Aragon Theater. That was crazy. I was not there. I would have loved to have been at either one of those shows. Just one even would have been perfection. However, I did sell a house this weekend, so I was a little busy. It's a good thing, and I'm so glad I got to watch everything online. It would have been nice to be there. However, we got time. We can go to another show, but this was their first show out of the gate. How can I say <laughs> they were perfect? They were perfect. They were perfect, and starting off Thursday night at the Aragon Theater, the crowd was insane. You could tell and feel People were just happy to be there. They were so thrilled with Journey and their performance and their energy was sick. 
in the head. It was so redonkulous. Marco Mendoza, hello, where have you been all my life? That guy is so amazing. I knew he was amazing anywho, but to see him on stage with Journey, you know, like, listen, right? Sometimes you get a little intimidated. You meet someone new. You, you know, you're a little standoffish for just a moment or two. But this dude just got out there and he was all over the place. And then you got to talk about Arnell. Hi. He is so, does he drink coffee nonstop? I don't even know. I can't explain it. He is so energetic. Arnell is not energetic to the point where you go, oh, he's just crazy. No, he's not crazy. He's just good. And the jumps this guy does. Why? How does that happen? I cannot even understand it. I do not know. Is he human? I don't know. He is so absolutely the singing, the audience interaction, the stage performance. I got to tell you, here, here's my whole thing with Arnell now. We haven't even gotten to the Saturday night show, but I'm just going to say it now. I definitely choose Arnell. And I'll just talk, I'll just talk about from our genre of music, okay? But I choose Arnell to be the showman of 2021. Hands down. He is so good. And a crowd doesn't go crazy when someone's just standing there singing at you. They don't do it. This crowd was pumped and excited and so happy to be there. And you could tell that Neil, Neil is just the proud papa of that ship that he's sailing, guys. He is just, he, okay, I'll calm down for just a minute here, but you know that Mr. Sean is driving that boat. He's driving the bus. Yes, he's got the captain's hat on. He is the one who made this all happen. This does not just happen just because. It happens because everyone works their tushy wushy off. They just went ham every day that they were locked down and they rehearsed and they practiced and they communicated and they got this all done. However, let's talk about DC and MM. Okay, they just kind of waltzed in at the very last second, but those dudes, they took it home. They took it home. They knew what was up. And that is only because they are also practicing when no one's looking. They're practicing because they love their craft, because this is what they do. This doesn't just happen. And journey doesn't just happen. And I literally have to commend Neil and Jonathan. I have said this maybe 500,000 million times, but Neil and Jonathan, they have kept this all together for all of us. Am I getting angry? I don't I don't want to be angry. I'm not angry at all. I'm really not. I'm so happy about it. But those guys have kept this legacy together. And it's not just hanging by a thread. It's together in a good way. It feels good to watch them. It just felt right. Every single song that those guys sang between Thursday and Saturday felt good, felt right. The energy was there. The crowd was there. And I think Neil and Dean both said how they were loving the fact that they got a younger audience, a younger demo to now start loving their music. It's good music. It deserves to be heard by everyone. And you know, I thought it was really strange. I'm not going to lie. And I've, I've said this already. I thought it was odd that Journey was headlining Lollapalooza. I didn't think it was, it was a good fit. I'm not, I, I have to say it like it is. I mean, come on, just the names of some of the acts, all time low. Let's be positive here, okay? Wooly with an I, Love and Jaws. I, that hurts to even say, Love and Jaws. They were there too. Well, good for you. Where does Journey fit into all of that? It doesn't seem like they would. However, they did. They interjected themselves in such a great way. And Arnell got this really nice, really nice sweatshirt from Gucci and it had the double G with a cherry on it. See what they did there? His wife's name is Cherry. That is so lovable, adorable, and cute. And if you were there, lucky you, and I'm so happy for you. You must have just had yourself an awesome, awesome time. So the question is now, what is Journey going to look like going forward? They have five more shows scheduled throughout the rest of the year, which is so great. No front row tickets available. I've already checked. Darn it, dagnabbit. So I'm keeping my fingers 
fingers crossed for 2022 as soon as their lineup is announced. I'm down, kids. Dean and Marco, will they stay for all of the shows and for the next tour with Journey? I sure hope so. And I am seeing that everyone else hopes so too. Everyone is rooting for these guys to just stick it out for the remainder of whatever. Will Dean finish out his shows with Generation Radio? I kind of hope so. I I hope so. I want to see the guy in Connecticut. I would love to. But who? maybe he can't. I don't know. I don't know how all that stuff works. Let us all know in the comments down below what you would like to see and how you would like to see Journey going forward. I think this was perfect. I really do. I think the energy that was all on stage, it worked. It gelled. And everybody loved it. Even those of us who weren't there absolutely loved it. Were you at Lollapalooza? Let us know in the comments down below. What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite song that they sang? And one burning question in my brain. Did Steve Perry watch Journey? Do you think he did? Do you think he, you know, got the Hulu free 30-day subscription and watched the show? What do you think? I don't know. I bet he did. I'm good. My gut says, yeah, he watched it. He watched it. And you know what? In a weird way, this is this is my mind anyway. I think he watched it and he was smiling as he watched it. I did. That's, that's the vision I see. That's what I feel. Who the heck knows? But I bet he doesn't need to get a free 30-day trial of Hulu. I'm just thinking he doesn't need to do that. He can buy Hulu, probably. So yes, we've had firings and leavings. Who's crying now? But at the end of the day, Neil Neil and Jonathan, they've got it all together, wrapped up in a pretty little bow. And I was not sure how these guys would fit in at Lollapalooza, but they did. And you know there were people there just to specifically see Journey. Still they ride, boys. Still they ride. Thanks for watching, everyone. Always remember to be kind to everyone, be free, and always remember, most importantly, keep rocking. And did Steve Perry get Hulu? It's right in there.